Yo, 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 what up, Mr. Zoo Nation, aka Savage Armor General Giraffe, coming at you with a special video dedicated to my most favorite planet, Mega Colony. Man, so uh, the, the recent set that we're almost done doing spoilers with, which has actually been surprisingly well, um, it looks like Pale Moon is going to be very good. It looks like Dark Irregulars is finally getting some good stuff. Uh, uh, Shadow Paladins is actually getting something good. And it looks like Murakumo got a lot more gimmicky. But it doesn't look as bad either. So I feel like I think either next week or the week. No, the week after next. I think is where we're going to start doing spoilers for the, uh, the Rage and Tactic set. Which is, of course... Mega Colony, Sachi Kaze, and Spike Brothers. Um, before I start this video, I am sick, so if I sound sick or start coughing or do whatever, um, forgive me for that. And second, um, I'm not going to lie, uh, I'm not really liking the current release schedule. I was going to do like a podcast on it though, but... I decided that there was a lot of stuff wrong with the audio, so that particular part I will put out. So look out for that. Um, at the same time, um, there is like another issue that's been happening in the Vanguard community as far as like being part of the top 10 card games and whatnot, so I'm gonna also talk about that. But for now, let's not focus on that, let's focus on making Colin. Um, so. What I what this is more what what this video is in my honest opinion is is more like a prediction slash um wish list video. It's more like a wish list video, but I will admit I might make a few predictions here and there. Um, they're like slight predictions though, but like like I said before, it's more catered towards um wish list and whatnot. So, uh, before I start, let me explain the situation that Mega Colony is in, in both, um, standard and premium. In standard format, we already know that shit is ass. Um, no offense to my most favorite clan, though, but it's so outdated and so unplayable, it's ridiculous. And a lot of it has to do with consistency, and a lot of it also has to do with the evolution of of how decks grew over time. Um, as far as premium goes, it's in a it's in a safe lock right now. And what I mean, well, not a safe lock, a uh, a soft lock. And what I mean by that is, it feels like that type of thing where it's in that situation where if it wasn't for the the major three decks in that particular format then it will be doing a lot better than it is right now. Like, personally, a lot of people aren't really using Mega Colony, and a lot of people aren't really trying to take it to tournaments or anything like that. And part of it is understandable, though, but I'm not saying... But, like, don't count it out as being a, a bad clan, either. Like, like, let's just put it that way. So, um, I feel like its major issue in premium definitely has to be is not fast enough. That, that's basically its only issue right now. It has a lot of good stuff to it. It's just not fast enough. So, the way I decided to do this list was I decided to choose three units that currently exist. And think about building around those three particular units. We already know that we're getting Cyclamatoof, which is actually going to be pretty interesting. And we're getting another unit that looks similar to Jaggy Devil. I know for a fact that it's not Jaggy Devil, though, but it looks similar to it. Um, which means that we're up in the air for what the third Protect Grade 3 is going to be and what the other support is. Right now, we're not too sure how the other support is going to get. Um, but we are for certain that maybe, um, it will be a based around what we got in the previous set. So, the first card I wanted to start out with was Machining Spark Hercules. And the reason why I wanted to start out with Spark Hercules is because I feel like Spark Hercules has an effect that 
has never been focused on. So the one I want to focus on is the part where you restand all your units, they gain plus 5k and minus 5k to all your opponent's units. My thing is the minus 5k to your opponent's units until the end of the next turn is a very decent effect despite that I do feel like it's a heavy cost. But at the same time, you also got to remember that there is no synergy in Mega Colony, not even in the older support that supports this. And that's what I feel like is the major issue with Smart Hercules is the fact that there isn't really enough things to support it. There's no other card in Mega Colony that minuses 5k to all your opponent's units like how Spark Hercules does it. Now of course we have other cards in the game that does it like the Zeal series and the Mission Police and then you also have um, Shuriyuki and Murakumo and I feel like that maybe Mega Colony could take advantage of that in a way that can make sure Yuki have a put a run to, uh, put a run for her money up. And basically what I mean by that is like let's say that um you gotta remember how sure Yuki works. She minuses 5k to any three units of your choosing if she's placed on the rear guard circle with a cost of Soul Blast 2. While if she's on the Vanguard Circle or the Guardian Circle, she minuses 10k instead um, to those three particular units of your choosing. My thing is, it only lasts until the end of the turn. So while it's a very good effect, it is a very good situational effect, and it does help with the defense aspect as well as the offense aspect of it, you also got to remember that... Um, you also got to remember that it only lasts to the end of the turn, while Spark Hercules lasts to the end of your opponent's turn, which means if they wanted to attack you at full power, they have to completely figure out a way to increase the attack of their units, or they have to figure out a way to replace all of the units, which is a good thing and a bad thing depending on what deck you're going against like let's be real um this basically means that they have to waste hand advantage in order to replace units to get back to full power again but if you're going to get something like let's say gold paladins or neo nectars where they have the ability of um, replacing units like via superior calling for the deck then they don't really waste too much hand advantage off of that not to mention, now that we got XL2, um, it kind of sort of makes up for it in a way. So, maybe we should get a bunch of grade 1s and grade 2s that has the ability to minus the attack a lot further. Maybe we get another grade 3 that kind of does the same thing as well. Um, maybe they probably be more machining orientated. You know, so... You could have a full machining deck where the old machining is all about stunning your opponent's vanguard, but the new machining is all about uh, minusing all of your opponent's units by 5k. Minusing all of your opponent's units by like certain attack. Like maybe it doesn't always have to be 5k, maybe it could be like 3k, maybe it could be like 6k or 9k or wh whatever. You know, basically what I'm saying is. Um, Maybe there should be like grade ones and grade twos that, and up again, possibly grade threes that does this exact same thing. Um, that way, there could be a lot more consistency with Spark Hercules instead of, oh yeah, um, we're going to minus all of your units by 5k and hope to God that you don't block this, uh, this um, ant line and whatnot like basically something like that so um the second grade three that i want to talk about is a rank mutant sand giraffe now my thing is like i said before we need to figure out what the last grade three protect marker um that we're going to get and hopefully if my guess is correct 
evil armor general giraffe. Hopefully. Um, if not, I feel like if there's any other grade three that we might get, it might be between um Warsicle or Hell Spider. But if we do get Sandra, if we do get Evil Armor General Giraffe, I feel like that we're also going to get the other like Grade One and Grade Two Giraffe in that exact same set, even the Grade Zero. Um, so what I wanted to focus on is his on hit ability. So if he hits, he has the ability of um stunning one of their rear, stunning uh, one of their rear guards they cannot stand and um they have also another effect where if they put into the drop zone from the rear guard circle or guardian circle um they have to choose one of their rear guards and retire it and this happens until the end of their turn so one of the things that was weird about playing Mega Colony back in the day was stunning. Let's say you stun their whole field, okay? Their whole, um, their whole rear guard field can't stand, and maybe even their vanguard, they can't stand. Uh, basically, what they have to do, they have no choice but to either figure out effects, which more likely came in something like maybe Genesis, where they have to waste effects in order to restand all of their units, or they had to waste stuff from their hand in order to stun all of their, you know, in order to regain a field presence again, which is understandable. However, if you're going against a deck like maybe OTT or Great Nature, they have so much hand advantage that replacing the field with their hand is like, it doesn't really dip, put a dent on them at all. And not only that, they also have like an extra like twin draw check, or if we're playing premium triple draw check, or if you're playing against that one card in a in great nature of Magamar, I forgot how you say his name, it's gonna be multiple draw checks if that one thing happens. But at the same time, um, I feel like the issue is that you're not punishing the opponent enough if you go against those particular clans, or like I said before, playing against Neo Nectars and playing against uh, Gold Paladins where they can just replace it via Superior Baller from the deck. Um, my thing is that with this particular effect, it punishes you because you also have to make sure that um, you have a way to replace the units without losing too much field advantage from the field advantage that you already lost, if that makes sense. So uh, basically, I feel like that Evil Armor General Giraffe for the V-Series version should kind of focus more on this because, let's be real, the sub um, arch, the sub clan version of Giraffa focused a lot more on retiring units instead of just, oh, we're just going to study units and call it a day. No, they were kind of more retiring and stuff like that. And I feel like that they should be giving a lot of alternatums of doing this particular effect. I would actually love that in my honest opinion. Um, so having an effect similar to this where it's not only on hit ability skills but it also have it to where um it forces your opponent to make weird and baitable de decisions i'm all up for it i'm not gonna lie i'm all up for it now uh this last one is going to be very controversial and after I say the name, and after I tell you my reasoning, I want you to hear me out. Because I feel like that maybe this might be a little bit more powerful than I'm bringing it out to be, or whatever. But I know that a lot of people are probably going to have some type of issue with this. Now, my thing is, let's make Intimidating you our uh, dark face not the card itself but i want to focus on his gb2 ability 
is GB2 ability allowing you to rest one of your opponent's um, rear guards when it comes into play. Um, the reason why I wanted to focus on this thing and I want you to hear me out, um, let's be real, how many units in the game has an interaction during your opponent's turn that doesn't have to do with guarding during battle phase? We hardly have any of them. Um, if we do, they're usually units that activate during your opponent's end phase. Never during your opponent's main phase. And I feel like that this is something that should be a lot focused on. Because Mega Colony has a very unique unit, which again is a Timonade Mew Dark Phase, but at the same time, I feel like that there should be a lot more units like it. Now, of course, they have to be very high cost in order to put balance on it, but let's be real, let's say that we get a bunch of grade 1s and grade 2s that has a similar effect to this. Um, let's say that maybe uh, your opponent tries to call a car from hand, you can like maybe soul blast a couple of cards or whatnot and put this unit into the soul or maybe even put the unit retire the unit all together and that unit that they call comes in at rest or maybe you have a unit that's similar like that like a grade one or a grade two and it goes back to my idea earlier when it comes to uh, minus an attack Maybe you can minus like 5k to their attack or do whatever. Or maybe they have the ability of if they get retired from the Guardian Circle, you can start minusing 5k, minusing 3k or whatever to a unit of your choosing um, after it gets retired from the Guardian Circle. Um, maybe there probably might be a couple of more units where... Um, maybe they come onto the field, you retire like maybe two or three units, or just retire just a bunch of units on your field, and they they probably do both. Um, they probably have the ability of minusing some type of uh, minusing some type of like an attack, or having the ability of uh force resting one of your um, opponent's units which is understandable now that we're getting stuff like uh Mordred phantom that's allowing you know blaster blaster dark in order to restand maybe we have a possibility of this now that we're seeing a lot of units restanding and we're having a lot of units get multiple attacks and all this other stuff it should be more possible to have effects like this and again all happening during your opponent's main phase but happening during your opponent's battle phase before like damage step or whatever i feel like that this should be a thing um if there's anything that mega colony should have of uniqueness then maybe this should be it if if Link Joker could make it so they well, that can reverse your units, why can't Mega Colony have a thing to activate stuff during your opponent's main phase, activate stuff during your opponent's battle phase? Why can't they? Um, so, with all that being said, that's what I feel like Mega Colony should have in their arsenal in this upcoming list. What do you guys think? Um, like, comment, subscribe, do whatever. Um, hopefully that I did everything correctly or whatever. My name is Mrs. Zoo Nation, aka Savage Armor June Giraffa, signing out.